Hi all, everything in my videos is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourself, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So Meghan Markle lost in court today the permission to appeal the decision to allow the biography to be used in her private case. So they're saying that um, the book shows that they could not have given the information because it shows where Megan text messaged her dad. And they're saying it's completely untrue because he doesn't own a cell phone. Now, the problem with this is that from previous court documents from Megan's own team, they referred to the messages sent by Prince Harry to Thomas Markle right before the wedding. Text messages that were sent to, you got it, his cell phone sent messages saying, please don't apologize. We understand the circumstances. If you love Meg and you want to make it right, please call me. Please call me. Please call me. And speaking to the press will backfire. Only, only we can help you. And we've been trying to help you. And her own team turned these over. And now she's saying, yeah, he didn't have a cell phone. Now, poor Thomas Markle has been ghosted by his daughter. And he said repeatedly that he's apologized a hundred times and he doesn't think that that's worthy of being shunned or ghosted. And of course, we completely agree with him. Now, it should be noted that poor Thomas Markle is really not in good health. And he's saying that he really wants to get into court to defend himself before he dies. He feels like he's going to die before he gets a chance. And the newspaper's lawyer is adamant, stating, quote, he continues to feel that he has been misrepresented and that Megan should not be pursuing this claim and he is anxious to have his day in court so he can tell the truth, which might be why she keeps pushing the case back. Maybe she's hoping he'll die before he has a chance to testify against her. So a lot of legal experts think that she would be better off just calling it a day and dropping the case since she's already lost two major court battles in relation to the suit and she's already had to pay out a lot of money. And she just asked for him on the delay with the January trial date being pushed back to fall. And they're saying that this is a move that smells like a litigant who's not very confident in her claim. I should probably add in here that while people are telling her to drop the case, the male has to agree to drop the case, and I think they want to take it all the way, and I hope they do. So what do you all think? Is this case being pushed back because her attorneys actually need more time? Does anybody honestly believe that the court is going to give them a summary judgment because I personally don't think that's ever going to happen? And how do you all feel about Thomas Markle? I feel myself, very sad for him. He'll never see his daughter and he'll never meet his grandchild. So tell me what you think about this latest development where she either lied in April or she's lying now. And if you think that he really didn't have a cell phone, I hope you guys have a fabulous day as usual.